ask you about your preaching methodology, you, you know, you, how do you put a sermon together, but really more important than them than just that, what's at the heart of your preaching? If I had to describe uh, how I preach and how I have entered preaching moments my whole life, I think it would be the imagery of casting a net into the ocean before every preaching moment, before in every, in every preparatory uh, hour. It would be casting a wide net into the deep and then plumbing Plumbing the spirit. This, 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 is, this, is, this is not something that I can explain theologically perhaps, but, but I, I've always, it, for me the preaching is not difficult, it's the preparation to preach. Mm -hmm. to, take the, to take the net and plumb it down into the deep. And then to see so what is the Spirit saying about this context, this, this waiting congregation, this, what is, what is the Spirit saying about what is necessary for this, this time and this unduplicatable moment? Mm -hmm. Preaching for me is the difficulty of preaching is to hear, to hear. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not Pentecostal in the small way, mm -hmm. but Pentecostal in the large way in that I am shopping the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And for me then, when we have shopped the Spirit, Preaching for me then is incarnational. Mm. That I am able to operate doing business with this congregation or this waiting, this waiting group of people because there has been an incarnation mm. of what the Spirit has been so kind and gracious to drop into to my soul to my mind. Technically, yeah, technically, I, I think uh, one of the things, I think you and, and Jeremiah or, or one of your interviews, I, I did not know that methodologic, method, methodologically, I think when I preach, I usually am looking at disarming the audience, disarming the argument first. Is it Hegelian? <laughs> It works, whatever it is. <laughs> we don't want to go down that way, but it works. Disarming, admitting, admitting the antithesis of what I'm about to say. Okay. Yeah. Admitting that, that I know there is an argument against what I'm getting ready to say. I, I know this probably cuts across the grain of your own truth, and I get that. But let me tell you now what Jesus says. Mm. Let me tell you now what, what possibility there is that there is a higher truth in your own argument or your own injury or your own, your own resistance. I get it, I get it, because incarnationally I've been there too. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt too, I'm, I'm disappointed too. Uh, uh, the world has disappointed me too, all of that. But now, mm. let's listen for the spirit and the text and, and the truths that predate our own injuries. Mm -hmm. Let's listen for the possibilities that there is good news. I don't know if you call that a preaching method or not, but I think that's what I do. Mm -hmm.